hey dolls welcome back to my youtube channel confident lips before i say the subscribe and all of that i just want to apologize for such a late video but you know i promise to do a video every week so here i am giving you another video so feel free to like share comment and subscribe as you can see i've already added the lip gloss base and the olive oil the olive oil of course is to thin the base because the base it's very 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 thick so you need an oil or oils to thin out the base at this point you'll see me adding more lip gloss base the reason as to why i'm adding more lip gloss base is because the consistency was very thin once the consistency is thin you add more base once the consistency is very thick you add more oils at this point i'm just adding a few drops of coconut oil to ensure that the gloss is enriched with a lot of beneficial oils i'm just doing my consistency check ensuring that it is not too thick and it's not too thin i would give a tip to knowing whether the gloss would be thick or thin if you do your consistency check and it's running down very fast then you'll know that it's thin if you do it and it's running down really slowly it's too thick so you want to balance it out to make sure that it's not too thick and it's not too thin i just added some flavoring i know you guys didn't see what type of flavoring it was but it was watermelon flavored so i'm just mixing and mixing and mixing I'm adding the red glitter now I think that in my previous video I explained the reason for the glitter being in that type of container so you could always go back to that video and <laughs> see what was the reason for that okay so we're approaching around number one i want you guys to carefully watch as i pour the gloss into the syringe i did not even observe that this was happening until a while after while i'm pouring the gloss into the syringe as you can see the gloss would be flowing out and entering on my clothes so that was error number one you see i tried to correct this error and it literally caused another error but you you only see that if you watch later down in the video so here i got a tube and i decided to pour this the gloss from the syringe directly into the tube and this was error number two everything just poured right out no cup it just poured right out so i started the video over cleaning the syringe and cleaning the tubes <laughs> what is on the syringe right now is a piece from the wipes so as you can see i'm slightly squeezing the middle of the tube and i realized that that is my hack fill in these tubes the hack to fill in the tubes without it overflowing is to squeeze the middle of the tube plain and simple you're welcome
okay so i'm refilling the tubes and honestly i don't even know if anything was poured out because it's not shown in the video and i can't remember okay yes it's confirmed <laughs> some did pour out In case you don't know, this video was made around Christmas time with the Christmas themed gloss, which was red and green. So now I'm just making the green part of that gloss. If you have watched my previous video, I did say that the olive oil was finished on my first batch of Christmas gloss and you just saw it. I finished the olive oil on the green part of the gloss. now we're on to the third era so i remembered right at this point that the gloss <laughs> was coming out at the bottom so i decided to leave on the stopper and that was not the solution to the problem that wasn't the solution to the problem so you're going to see what's happening. You'll see what happens. So now that I have technically reached the end of this video, I am hoping that you guys learn something. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for more detailed videos.